we're going to chop this parsley on up. Get it nice and ready for our next recipe because tonight we are going to be making a delicious garlic butter shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. When I tell you guys quick and easy, but you're going to get the best bang of flavor. It's going to be so worth it. So with all of that being said, let's jump right in and get this video started. Welcome back. I'm your girl cooking with Tammy. As mentioned earlier, we're going to be making a delicious garlic butter shrimp recipe. So with all of that being said, let's jump right in, introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First on up, as you can see, we have our jumbo shrimp on deck looking plump and juicy. Our shrimp has been, of course, washed, cleaned, deveined, pat dried. And as you can see, even though the shrimp is deshelled, we left the tail on because, of course, we want to have that presentation going on. So whether or not if you leave the tails on is going to be optional. We also have some butter and this butter, of course, is salted. However, if you prefer to use unsalted butter, you can definitely do so as well. We also have our garlic, lemon, salt, ground black pepper. As you saw in the earlier clip, we also have some freshly chopped up parsley, red chili flakes and oil. With all of that being said, let's get to cooking. So this nice hot skillet, as you can see, is smoking and it's ready to go. All right, we're going to add a small drizzle of oil, of course, and get that party started. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, but Tammy, I don't have a cast iron skillet. Not a problem whatsoever. Use what you have. We're going to drop a couple tablespoons of butter into the pan. Allow it to get nice and melted. As the butter melts and it gets nice and hot, we're going to add our shrimp one by one. Yes, we are. Get those shrimp into the pan. Allow them to cook before flipping them over. Now, here's the thing. I say this almost in, you know, sort of in every seafood video when we're making shrimp. Because, of course, there's going to be someone or somebody who may not be familiarized with my videos. They may be watching it for the first time. Or maybe this is their first shrimp video that they're watching. We never know. So, I'm going to say the same thing, which is not a problem. When it comes to cooking our shrimp, best indication to know when to flip the shrimp on over is when the shrimp starts to turn pink. Of course, even though it's flipped on the other side, you're like, how am I going to see it? Oh, you're going to see it. Trust me, because you're going to see it along the perimeter, just like in this video right here. Once the shrimp turns pink, that is a perfect indication. Flip it on over, allow it to turn pink on the other side as well. And guess what? Your shrimp will not be overcooked. Check it on out. Color vibrancy is popping. Absolutely gorgeous. Now that our shrimp is perfectly cooked, we're going to remove it, place it into a bowl, and set it aside. To our shrimp butter sauce, we're going to add our garlic. Make sure we mix it up really good. Combine it on in there. And just in case you're wondering, why are you using so much garlic? We are making garlic butter shrimp. Hence the name of the recipe. <laughs> add that garlic. Combine it really well because we want it a little spicy. We're going to add those red chili flakes. Now, here's the thing. However much you add is totally up to you and what your palate can tolerate. We're going to combine it as well. Everything is smelling perfect. So we're going to get in there and we're going to add that freshly squeezed lemon juice. Add a little bit more lemon juice for that nice lemon flavor. Give it a good mix. Make sure everything is well combined. We're going to re-add our shrimp back to the pan. And you can't tell me that this recipe right here is not quick and easy to put together. Literally. We're going to add a little bit more butter. Allow it to get nice and melted. Hit it off with our freshly chopped parsley. And boom, we're pretty much done. You can't tell me that this recipe right here was not quick and easy to put together. Absolutely gorgeous, big on presentation and what it took about 2.5 seconds to complete this recipe. Just in case you're wondering what to serve this delicious garlic butter shrimp with. Serve it with pasta, any type of pasta. Serve it with rice. Hey, if you want it to be keto, eat it by itself. As always, guys, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy, and I will definitely catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.